What's up, everybody? And welcome to another Kin Stretch class brought to you by Stretch Effect. My name is Coach Luke, and I'll be teaching the class today. So the focus of today's class is going to be on hip adduction, moving towards the midline of the body, and hip abduction, moving away from the midline of the body. So these are two fu uh, fundamental hip motions that we need outside of internal external rotation, flexion, and extension that allow our hips to function as hips should and not put the emphasis on the lower back or other areas of the body that aren't meant to do what the hips are meant to do. So today is going to really be focused on hip abduction, abduction, along with some other joint cars that we're going to move through. So we're going to start with our bear sit position. That's the position that we're going to be training from a lot today. So we're just going to sit with our knees about 90 degrees, knees as wide open as we can be, and then sitting up nice and tall. If this position is uncomfortable for you, you can always grab a yoga block, and then you can just sit on the yoga block. That kind of elevates you off the ground a little bit. That kind of increases our hip angle, makes things a little bit more joint friendly if the position sitting on the floor was too uncomfortable. So from here, we're just going to sit up nice and tall, Use your forearms to kind of guide those knees out into more of an abduction stretch. And then we're just going to grab those shins and then we're going to sit up as tall as we can. Be comfortable in this position. So if sitting on the floor is uncomfortable for you, you can always move up to one block. Or if even one block is too uncomfortable, you can always go onto two. So that's going to take things even a little bit more friendly if that pinch or you have tension in the hips are here. So I'll be doing from one block for these ones. And then I'll be moving up from the floor in a few different positions so you can get a feel for how it feels in each one and what, which one's best for you. Okay, so we're gonna start here nice and tall. Just like sit up. It looks like you're trying to stick your butt out behind you. That just helps lift your chest up. And then arms just there for stability. So we're gonna start with two neck bars. I'm gonna start chin to my chest. I'm gonna rotate chin to the collarbone. I'll take my ear over the shoulder. Rotate chin to the sky. Make sure you're not shrugging right, shoulders stay down. Here over the other shoulder. Drop that chin to the collarbone. And rotate through. So let's go one more rep that same direction. So chin to the collarbone. Peek over that blind spot like you're driving. Dump the water out your ear over your shoulder. Rotate chin to the sky. Here over my shoulder. Rotate chin to the collarbone and through. So that's two to my right, I'm going to go two to my left. Chin to my left collarbone, ear over my left shoulder, rotate to the sky, ear drops over the shoulder, chin to the collarbone, and chin to the chest. Let's go one more time through. You can open up the hips a little bit more, you've been in that stretch for a little bit, do so. Chin to the collarbone, ear drops over, rotate chin to the sky, over the shoulder, chin the collarbone, and through. Okay, so that was my neck. I'm gonna go into my T-spine. Everyone needs a little bit more T-spine, so I'm gonna I'm gonna be in the collapsed kneeling position. So you can go up into tall kneeling. If you want to be in tall kneeling, you can throw the block in between your knees so you're squeezing in, that gives you a little bit more pelvic stability. Or if you want to be in collapsed kneeling, but it's a little so uncomfortable for you, you can put the block up its side, you can sit on a block, or of course you can stack two blocks. Okay, so I'll just be in this position here. I'm gonna grab my shoulders. So you can make fists kind of on each shoulder. You can grab the shoulder, or if you'd like, you can always grab your arms around the body. Just whatever you prefer. You can play around in different positions, see what feels best for you. So I'll go fists on the shoulders, elbows in, squeeze them tight. I'm gonna flex my chin to my chest. Slowly flex down, get some t spine flexion here. I'm gonna rotate to my right without my hip coming off the ground or the block. I'm gonna bend to my right. From here, I'm gonna rotate tall. I'm gonna keep my chin in my chest as I flex to my left, making sure both hips stay level, make sure I'm not coming off the blocks or off my heels that way. So I'm here in flexion. Rotate top shoulder across the body. I'm gonna rotate back through the center. Let's go one more that same direction. And rotate, flex. Segment and extend as I go over the top. We'll rotate, flex to my left. I'm going to take my top shoulder across the body and rotate through. Let's go two to my left. Rotate, flex, extend segment as I rotate over the top. Flex to my right, rotate across the body. Now rotate back to that starting position. One more rep there. Rotate, 
flex. Extend one vertebrae at a time as I get tall. I flex to my right. Rotate to my left. And rotate, flex, down through the center. Nice. And loose there through the top of the body. So from here, I'm going to go into my hip cars. So we're going to start with some sideline hip cars. So we're going to come back to some sideline position for our hip capsule cars a little bit down the road. So the sideline hip car, you can use the block if you want to use it for a pillow here. You can set it up sideways, you can set it up flat. If you don't have a block, you can always just take that arm, use it as your pillow down here. If I have a block, I will use it. So I will stack my shoulders. Shoulders are nice and stacked here. These will be about 90 degrees. They can be slightly lower. That's up to you. I'll take my top hand. That's the end of the floor. That just gives me a little stability. And then my bottom leg will drive into the ground slightly just to provide me some stability here. So as I open up, I'm not rotating my whole body. I'm just staying flat to the floor on my side. I'll take my top hip up towards my armpit. That's hip flexion. As I open up, this is called hip abduction. This is what we're we'll working on today. So just get nice and wide with that hip. I'm going to take my heel back to the wall behind me and rotate. So I'm going to keep trying to rotate internally. So that's femur rotating in as I come over the top into extension and swing it through back to my start position. And we're just going to reverse back the same way we came. So heel back, so back to that nice stretch effect poster behind me. Over the top. Big, nice, slow, controlled circle. And Three back in my start position. Let's go one more set, one more rep there. Knee up in the flexion, right? So as I come up, I think it's all hip flexion. I'm not rotating through my lower back, right? So just all the knee. Open up. From here, I will internally rotate my heel back behind me. And I'm going to keep trying to internally rotate more as I extend that hip back. Drive top arm into the floor, bottom leg, and reverse. Heel drives back, open up that leg as much as I can, and back through. Okay, we'll switch sides. There's two on the left side, and we've got two on my right. So stack the shoulders, top hand comes here, bottom arm if you're using the pillow, drive it on the floor. If not, you can still press it down. Gives you an extra point of contact on the ground here. Knees about Anywhere between 45 and 90 degrees. Right there, I'll like kind of in between that. Stack those shoulders, core is engaged. Always bracing through the body here. I press my bottom leg into the floor while my top leg comes up into hip flexion. Abduction, and this is what we're training today, so really work on this. Really just get as wide as you can. Always trying to squeeze more. I'm going to internally rotate this hip. That's a femur rotates in. Foot rotates back to the wall behind me. Keep trying to rotate while I extend and feed through. First, the same way we came, heel guys back. Stand over the top, flex that hip. As I come into abduction, it's towards the midline of my body. One more rep there. Hip flexion, abduction, internal rotation, and extension. Try to get bigger on this second rep than my first. Our cars were always trying to expand that circle, always trying to get more from the joint we're working, right? So I'm not trying to extend my spine as I go back. I'm just trying to extend this hip. And glute is tight as I drive heel in the wall. Open that hip up over the top. Adduction and under. Okay, so let's hit two hip cars on each side. Next one, so I will be on the side, so you can see what I'm doing here. I'm gonna go ankle cars. So if you have a block, you can throw that cap right on the block, just like that. If you don't have a block, just throw one, throw your foot on its side, and then we'll throw the cap right on top of the foot. We're gonna be locked down the knee here, so we know we're not gonna be able to rotate through our tibia. So I'm gonna grab femur, because I don't wanna rotate my femur as I'm trying to rotate my ankle. Okay, so I'm gonna think. Plantar flexion, you gotta point that toe as much as you possibly can. Staying down, I'm going to rotate in, so I'm going to rotate towards the wall here. Staying in, I'm going to rotate up. To pull that toe up to my shin. Rotate out. And I'm going to plant our flex back down. Back in the middle, I'm going to go one more rep there. So think 
in, stay in while I come up, stay up over the top, rotate the sole of your foot out, stay out, and press down, back the other way, two reps, go out, stay out, flex that ankle, come up, rotate in, stay in, while I press down. So remember, we're just going two reps here. You can always go three, you can always go five. More practice you get with cars, the better. No matter how many reps we're doing, you want to always be trying to get a bigger circle. Even if it doesn't feel like or look like it's happening, we're always trying to go with the intent to get a bigger circle with each rep. So I'm going to switch, grab that femur, sit up tall, point that toe, so I'm going to plant that flexion. So while I'm pointing down, I'm gonna go in, so you feel good, stretching the outside of your foot here, you may feel even a little pit, uh, foot cramp. That's okay, just gives me more practice there. You're coming up, over the top, out, and down. One more, go in, up, out, down. So now we're plant our flex again, let's go the other way. So we're going out, up, in, down, one more, out, up, in, stay in, squeeze it out, and down. Okay, come up into our toe cars. The so toe cars are gonna be really just trying to isolate one toe at a time, right? So with this one, to start, we're just gonna start with big toe extension. So think, lift all your toes and try to splay them, right? We're trying to spread those toes as much as you can. Balls of your feet, balls of your toes stay on the floor. I'll just put all my toes down, spread as much as I can. If this is hard for you, you can go one, you can go one foot at a time, one toe at a time, and that's totally cool. But for now, for the sake of time, we're going to put both toes together. So I'm going to think four toes down, I'm going to lift my big toe up into extension as much as I can, and then back down. Two more there, go lift the big toe, four toes down, and back down. Four toes down, big toe up, Stay up here. We're gonna lift all the toes again. And then we're gonna go big toe down, big toe up. Big toe down, big toe up, big toe down, stay down. And now four toes are up. We're gonna go four toes down, four toes up. Four toes down, four toes up. When you do these, right, as you rotate up with those toes, your body's gonna to wanna to rotate in, right? So try to keep the, the ball of your pinky toe on the floor here. So now we've got all of our toes, for four toes are up, we're gonna lift those big toes again, so we're trying to, always trying to spread for more, that's toe abduction, okay? And the last one here, we're gonna call it the piano keys. So we're gonna go pinky toe, fourth toe, third toe, second toe, big toe. We've never done these before, this is gonna be a challenge. Just trying to go as slow as possible, second toe, big toe. Always trying to spread those toes more. If you need to go one foot at a time, just focus on the one, that's totally cool. That's just focus on more tension, more control of that foot here, right? So pinky toe, fourth toe, third toe, second toe, big toe. Okay, let's go one more time there. Thanks. Spread, spread, spread. This is a fun one to show other people because most people do not have individual toe control. So next time you're at a party and you're uh, talking about, you know, your feet for whatever reason, I don't know why you'd be doing that, but you can always show them how much control you have over your individual toes and then they can see how much they probably don't have. Okay, so that was our few cars here. So that was our neck cars, T-spine cars, hip cars, ankle cars, and toe cars. Okay, and we obviously have plenty of other car variations that we can go through, but at the same time, we just kind of focus on the neck, T-spine work, because everyone needs more T-spine, and then we're just, that was our lower body car sequence. Okay, so from here, we're gonna go to the sideline hip cars, we do our capsule cars. Okay, so same position we did our hip cars from. We're just gonna work on hip capsule cars. So again, you can use the block sideways, you can put it this way, you can use your arm if you don't have the block. You're gonna land in that same position. So we'll have our knees at about 45 degrees away from the body here. So you kind of make a nice B with your body. Block for the head. From here, I'm gonna pull my top hip up into what's called hip flexion. So I'm gonna be about 90 degrees. From there, we'll slide this back, back leg back just a little bit to get out of the way. Try to keep it at 90 degrees. Imagine you've got like a skewer going straight through this femur here. Like the femur is a rotisserie. 
your lower leg is the chicken. Right? So we're going to go external rotation capsule carve. They try to rotate down towards the floor. That's external rotation. Knee stays right here. And then we're going to go internal rotation capsule car. Try to get more out of it. Right? So find your boundary. Find where you feel like it's tough. Try to get a little bit more squeeze. So two more there. Nice and slow. Find your end. You should feel some inner thigh stuff working here. Fight for more. Right? So say that in your head whenever you do these, right? Rotate to center. Internally rotate. Find your end. Fight for more. Think squeeze out a little bit more. One more there. External rotation. Femurs rotating externally, rotating out. Find your end. Fight for more. Think a three or five second hold. Last one. You can hand on the hip. Just remind you to stay tight. Rotate through the femur. Find your end. Squeeze it. Squeeze it. Squeeze it. Fight for more. Good. Okay, so let's come back into that hip car position. So we're gonna pull up. Abduction, right? So like I said, that's what we're working on today. So we're gonna work on internal external rotation from an abducted position. So lower body, lower leg is pressing the floor. Top arm is pressing the ground. This is good stability. Make sure I don't rotate out of that position, right? So think breath in, embrace that core, make sure everything's nice and tight. Or as abducted as you possibly can, right? So get as far over that leg as you can without rolling the body open. And then we have three caps cars from here. So same thing, we go external rotation. So foot rotates forward, femur rotates out. Find your end, fight for more. Now we internally rotate. Femur rotates in, foot rotates behind the body. Find your end, squeeze it. Back a little bit more, that's one. Nice and slow. External rotation, find your end. Back for more. Internal rotation. Find your end, squeeze it, fight for a little bit more. Here we go, one more time. Here, external rotation, finger rotates out, foot rotates in, squeeze it out. Try to keep that knee as abducted as you can. You can hold this knee just like this, remind you just to stay right there. Rotate that foot back to the back wall, internal rotation, and come back down. So that's three, hip caps of cars from 90 degrees, and then we have flexion, abduction. From there, we're going to work in some adduction, so it's coming towards the midline body. So you can keep this here if you want it. I'm going to take my bottom leg, that way. Get my bottom leg straight, straight out from my hip. Top leg will come over. You can come as high as you can to here. If you don't have that mobility, that's okay. You can just keep the foot down there. It's whatever's most comfortable for you. You can hold this leg if you want. You can just have both legs down. You can have this down here. I'm just going to hold that shin, just get a point of contact. I'm trying to keep my heel right on my leg. Because what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be abduct or adducting, sorry, adduction, as I come towards the midline of my body. I'm trying to come in to the middle. What I want to make sure though, is as I come forward, or as I come up, I don't come forward, right? So I want to make sure that this heel is flat to the femur, so that as I come up, I'm coming straight up, and it acts as a little barrier to make sure that I don't simultaneously flex. Because your body's going to go to the path of least resistance, and your hip flexors are usually stronger than your adductors if you never use them, right? So people are used to using their hip flexors, not used to using their adductors as much. So we want to get all that focus on the adductors, which are our inner thigh muscles here, which can be very strong muscles if we strengthen them, okay? So hold that shin, body is nice and tight. If you don't have the block, just rest on your forearm. I'm gonna take 10 reps here. So I'm gonna lock my leg out. I'm gonna flex my ankle. Take nice and slow up. Control back down. Up. And down. That's two. Up. Down. Three. Up. Down. Four. Body's tight. Core's engaged. Tension check. Five. Good. We got five more here. Six. Lift. Fight for more every single time, just like those capsule cars. Seven. Leg stays locked. Up. Eight. Squeeze, drive up, get a little pause, feel that tension. Nine. Last one. Body's tight and lift. As high as you can. Back down. So that was 10 passive range lift offs for adduction. Now we're going to do an adduction knee hinge. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lift as high as I can. I'm gonna try to hold that there, leg locked out. Leg stays still. 
while I pull that knee back, pull the heel back, flex that knee, back to my start position, and down. So let's do five reps here. As you drive up, try to stay up as high as you possibly can while you flex that knee, come back, parachute down, right? We'll make sure nice and slow, come down to the floor. Okay, so I'm just, the body's locked in, take a breath in, radiate that tension throughout your whole body, lock out the leg, and lift. Flex, make sure that knee doesn't drive forward. Pull that heel to your butt. Stay high. And down. That's one. Let's go five reps here. Lift. Flex. Feel that hamstring working. Extend. Back down. Two. Adduct. Knee hinge. Extend that knee. That's three. Inside of your thighs, should be screaming right now. High as you can go. Flex that knee. Extend that knee. And down, last one. Here we go, as high as you can go. Flex. Extend. And down, that's five. Let's go on switch sides. Capsule cars, three and three. 10 lift offs, and then five knee hips. Okay, yeah, so we use block, we have it. Get this one out of the way. Arm under if you don't have the block. So we're gonna go our hip capsule cars from 90 degree flexion. So have the leg 45 degrees, if not a little lower. I'm gonna pull top hip into flexion. Make sure this knee stays 90 degrees. And then I'm just going to rotate externally and then internally. So I'm gonna make sure I'm rotating from my hip, I'm not squeezing the side of my body to get that hip high, right? That's not true hip internal rotation. So let's go down, find your end, back more, hold that squeeze, feel it. And the thigh stuff working here, and then internally rotate. You should feel that outer hip working as you try to lift that leg, lift that foot by the femur rotating it. So one more leg, nice and slow. Down. Find your end, back to four. Keep the leg right here, right? The rotisserie. As I internally rotate, stand up, find your end, back to four. Okay, so we'll come back down. So we'll go like we did our hip cars top leg or top arm. Press in the floor, bottom leg, drives down. Press my head on my arm. Look at the blocks, you need blocks, of course. Flex that hip. I'm gonna abduct, okay? So think hip internal rotation. Feel the drives back to my wall. External rotation. Foot drives forward, femur rotates out. Internal rotation, femur rotates in. Stay as abduct as you can. Remember, that's what we're working on today, so we're gonna really make sure we're getting those locked in. Two. Last one, knee stays right here. Internally rotate, the outer hip working, external rotation, feel that inner thigh, pulling that foot in, but keep driving that knee up to that wall behind you, and come down. Okay, let's go to our adduction lift off. So the legs go straight, body's nice and straight, core's engaged, taking the top leg over the top. So this will make sure that I'm staying on the femur. So as I come up into the adduction, I'm not driving forward. Keeping that heel right on the leg. Body blocked out. Take a breath in. Brace that core. And hold that leg. And we're just going to lock the leg. And lift. And come back down. Lift. Back down. That's two. And lift. Down three. Ten reps here. And lift. Oh, we're trying to get more out of it. Back down. And lift. Down, that's five. Tension check here. Make sure the core is engaged. Make sure this leg is locked out. The arm, the leg will want to bend as you lift. So make sure you're squeezing that quad. Lift. Six. Lift. Seven. Three more here. Lift. Eight. Lift. Nine. Last one. Lift as high as you can. Always trying to get more, 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 and down slow. Very nice. Okay, we got five 
abduction knee hinges here, okay? So hold that leg, leg is locked out. I'm gonna go up as high as I can. Flex that knee, pull my heel to my butt. Extend that knee. Come back down, that's one. Lift. Flex. Extend. And touch down, two. Lift. Flex. Extend. Touch down, that's three. We got two more there. Lift. Flex, pull that heel to your butt, squeeze that hamstring out, extend the knee, back down, last one, best one, here we go, get up there, squeeze it, back for more, try to keep that leg high, extend, and back down, very nice, caps of cars, that's lift offs for abduction, some knee hinges, now we're going to meet potatoes of our training today, we're going to do our tails and rails, we're going to be for abduction, which is going away, and adduction, which is going to close the body. So this is where you, if the fair sit position from the beginning is not comfortable, you can start on the floor. If it starts to get, you can, if it starts to get uncomfortable, you can go onto that block. Remember, so as you elevate, that will take some pressure off the hips, gives you a little bit more space to work from, makes it a little bit easier if sitting on the floor was uncomfortable. So I'll do, we're going to do two sets of pills and rails. So I'll do my first set on the floor. And then I'm going to do my second set from the, some, from the block just so you can get a chance to kind of see both, both ways. Okay, so I'm going to sit up nice and tall. Arms grab the legs. Sit up. Use the arms for stability. Use the shins to kind of help us sit up tall. And use my elbows to just guide my knees towards the floor into what's called more abduction. Okay, from here, I'm just going to hang out. So typically, we do about a two minute stretch. For the sake of today's class, we'll probably not go for two minutes. We're just going to go for the time that I'll explain our pails and rails. Set of pails and rails. I'll set up on the block, show you the other variation. We're going to do, take about 30 seconds to a minute. We'll do a second set of pails and rails. And we'll go to what's called passive range holds and passive range lift ups. Okay, so we're going to expand the range of motion. We're going to, we're going to solidify it. Some holds, some lift ups. We have a chance to kind of experience what opening up those hips can feel like. Okay? So we're just guiding those legs down into that stretch. We're sitting up nice and tall. So a good stretch all through the inside of your legs here. So quick review of pails and rails if you've never done before. We're gonna start very gradually, build up that tension as we're trying to drive those legs in. But because we're pulling the shins and the elbows are guiding the knees out, it's called an isometric contracting. So you're contracting all the stuff on the inside of your legs as you're trying to drive in, but your arms are not allowing it to move. Right, so it's a contraction. Like isometric just means we're not changing the length. Right, we're not, we're not shortening or lengthening the tissue. We're holding it right in place, but we're contracting everything in here. So we'll build that contraction up for five or 10 seconds. And then we're gonna hold a max contraction, or if you've never done this, you can go up to about 70% for about 10 seconds, 10 to 15. And then we're gonna do our rails. My arms are gonna hold strong here, elbows will stay still. And I'm just trying to pull my knees away from my elbows. Hold that for about 15 seconds. The rest, stay in that stretch, get a little bit more, and then we'll do a second round of tails and rounds. Okay? So just keep trying to get a little bit more. Remember, whenever we're doing our passive stretch, right, whether it's two minutes, one minute, five minutes, always working on deep, slow belly breathing here, right? So think about four to five count on the inhale, right? So stomach expands out on the inhale and about an eight to 10 second exhale, stomach, ribs compress down, and on the exhale is when your body will relax more, so you can try to get a little bit deeper into that stretch. Okay, so we just wanna make sure we're always trying to drive deeper in that stretch, we're not losing length as we go through the stretch. Maybe uncomfortable for some people, so just work on just getting comfortable there first. Don't go so hard on the pails and rails, because this could be new for a lot of people. So, okay, grab the shins, pull yourself up, get nice and deep into that stretch. We'll start that pail. So take a breath in, brace that core, and then slowly start driving your knees into your elbows at about 20% contraction. Build it up to 40%, build it up to 60, build it up to 80. So if you're new, just stop at 80. And 100% effort for 10. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 
two, one, and rails. Pull, try to pull those knees off of your elbows. Elbows stay still, hips rotate out, and we're trying to pull our knees to the floor. Drive for more, drive for more, upper body stays tight. Just feel those outer hips working for five, four, three, two, one. Stay in the stretch, but just relax the tension. See if your body will give you a little bit more. Usually it will, just get about a centimeter, maybe a millimeter. Always trying to drive into a deeper stretch here, okay? So we'll hang out, we'll recover here. Just nice deep belly breathing again. We go from the block, just to get some both variations. So just sit on the block, you can go sideways, you can do two blocks, that's okay. Sit up tall, knees are about 90 degrees. Arms grab the shins, elbows, guide those knees lower to the floor. Okay, so, work on inhale. And hold it for a second, and then in through the nose, out through the nose. About eight to 10 second exhale. Just allow my body to relax. As you do so, see if you can guide those knees a little bit lower than four. Okay? So you never want to be going through any pain or pinching in the hips especially, right? So we want to make sure that if you do have some pinch or anything there with the knees up this high, you can always change position, bring those feet down a little bit lower, kind of take that angle out a little bit, see if that helps. We can expand the feet out this way, bring them in. Always about training in the zone that's best for you, not for anybody else, right? So if you, if you look the exact same as me, that's okay, but also we wanna make sure that your hips are feeling good so we get the most out of it, not trying to drive through any pain or pitching, okay? So we should be recovered now. We're gonna go one more set of pills and rails for abduction, right? So think sit up tall, arms grab the legs, take a breath in. Brace that core, and then slowly start driving the knees into elbows, elbows back down into knees. We'll go about 20%, 40%, 60%, 80 percent 100% max effort. Drive those knees in, elbows don't let it happen. Here we go, five, four, really slow five here. Three, two, one, and rails. Pull those knees off your elbows, trying to drive more abduction. Pull off, pull off. Sit tall, drive those knees, feel those outer hips on fire. Here we go, five, four, three, two, one, and come back down into that stretch. Very nice. So what we can do here, if it's, really, if it's really screaming here, we can just go hands behind us. We can just do some rotations in, rotation out. So make sure you both sit bones are on the block. Both sit bones stay on that block. Or if you're on the floor, make sure both sit bones stay on the floor. Make sure we're not rotating out of it like this. We're just rotating on that hip. Two, three there, you should. Just to get some feeling back in there if you've never done this before. Quite the wake up call. Take that in, down, okay. So we're gonna do what's called passive range holds. Okay, so you're gonna get back in that position. It's gonna mimic our rails contraction, right? So we're trying to bring it as deep in that stretch as we can. We're gonna create that rails contraction as we try to drive our knees closer to the floor. And then we're just gonna remove the arms and we're gonna hold. Okay, we're gonna do five, five second holds, pass range holds for hip abduction. So make sit tall, grab those shins, elbows, guide those knees out. Good breath, open up more. Let's go embrace that core. Start that rails contraction. We're trying to open up more and remove the arms and hold. Five, four, try to get more, 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 more. Two, one, back down, relax. Try to get a little bit more recovery. Here we go. Go brace that core again. Breath in, brace, pull the knees up and hold. Five, four, three, two, one, and back down. That is two. Got three more there. Stay tall, drive the legs out, track those hips, open those knees up, and hold. Five, four, three, two, one, back down. Got two more there. Open up, open up, open up. Here we go. Take a breath in, brace, knees off, and open, hold. Five, four, three, don't lose any length, don't lose any length, and come back down, good. Try not to let those legs come in at all, right? We're trying to get more. Trying to strengthen that abduction. Last one here. Here we go. Open up. 
brace and hold five four drive out drive out drive out drive out hips on fire three two one and back down very nice okay last thing we're gonna be passive range lift offs so the lift off we're not gonna be at our end range because we're not gonna be able to move anymore right so we're gonna come in about 15 to 20 degrees so it should be a couple inches feet will be on the floor sit up tall a couple breaths we're gonna cover here and we're gonna do lift offs that just means my arms will stay here and i'm just gonna pull my knees away from my elbows hold and squeeze and then we'll come back down okay so passive range and lift off because we're lifting from our passive range using that active range to try to get more hip abduction okay so nice and tall come in just a little bit we're gonna do five five second holds here we go so think pull off and hold five four three two one back good that's one four more there sit tall elbows stay straight and pull those legs out five four three two one back in two recover brace pull and pull five four three two one and three got two more here best ones yet here we go Grab those shins, sit up tall, brace that core, and pull, pull, five, four, three, two, one, back in. Last one, make it the best one you've ever done. Sit up tall, stick that butt out. Remember, knees come in just a little bit, and now we pull and hold, five, four, drive out, drive out, drive out, three, two, one, and come back in. Very nice, that was a lot of hit. Abduction work there and maybe new. So we're gonna need to shake them out a little bit and get some life back in those hips. That was our abduction pills rails, pass range holds, pass range lift offs. So now we're gonna do our abduction or coming towards the midline of the body. So that will come up into what's called a split the lung position. So I'll be just like this, kind of like I was in my quadruped. So now I'm gonna take one leg out to the side. If you can, have the foot flat on the floor, but if not, if the foot's up here, that's totally okay. That's just dependent on your ankle range of motion, ankle rotation. Okay, so I'm taking, walk my hands in just a little bit, and I think, line up this forearm with my inside leg. I want to feel a stretch here, right? So you can stretch out more to the side if it helps. You can sit back a little bit if it helps. But you really want to find the best line of tension to train in, so we can make sure that we're getting the absolute most out of it. We want to make sure, though, that we're not going through any pain, any pinching, anything that's going to be uncomfortable that could cause problems down the road, right? Well, it's only find a stretch, strengthening in that stretch, and not doing anything that is super uncomfortable, okay? So, we'll do some uh, pails and rails from here, right? So my pails, I'm just going to hold this stretch for a couple minutes. My pails will be driving down into the floor, and my rails, you're not going to be able to because you're in the rain, but I'm going to be trying to lift my foot off the ground, right? So just imagine that you're a scale under your foot and we're trying to get light in that scale okay so just breathe same thing belly breathing here four count inhale eight count exhale okay should be a good stretch all the way from your groin all the way to the inside of the knee a good stretch it's called your abductors okay so then take a breath in first that core and then we'll slowly start driving that foot into the floor here. Start driving down, drive down, build that contraction up 60%, 80%, and 100% effort and hold. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and rail. Try to pull that foot off the ground, feel that outer hip working. Good, hold it, hold it. Try to drive for more, drive for more, drive for more. Rails, 5, 4, 3, Two, one, and relax. You can sit out a little bit more. If your body gives you a little bit more range, you can sit back a little bit more if that's what allows you to get a better stretch. All this inner thigh stuff working here. Shouldn't feel anything in the knee itself, right? So just to about right to about where the knee starts. I'm just gonna recover, take some breaths. Okay. Couple more breaths, and we'll do one more set of pails and rails here. As a reminder, we're building up that pails, right? It's for about five to ten seconds. 
fill up that contraction, then we're gonna hold the 10, rails, trying to lift that foot off the ground. We're just gonna lighten that scale. We're not gonna be able to lift it. You can, that's okay. It just means you're not at true end range, right? So we'll do some lift offs next. Okay, take a breath in. Lift that core, elbows locked out. Start driving that foot into the floor here. Build it up, 20, 40, 60, 80. Max effort for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and rails quickly right into it. Rails, we're trying to lift that foot, get light in that scale, try to create more tension on that outer hip. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Nice, that was two pills and rails. We're gonna come at it just a little bit. So just like our liftoffs for abduction, we're gonna have to come out of that stretch just a little bit to make sure we can get some lift, so we get some space to get a lift here. So we're, now we're gonna be actually lifting that foot up in the air. So this, the hand position is gonna be key for to create more stability. So if you wanna go wider, you can do that. You can go out here, you can create a little kickstand out here. What we're trying to do is just get this foot off the ground by lifting, and we're just gonna go up, try to get a pause, and then back down. Five pass range lift offs or hip abduction. Okay, so we we'll lift from here, body stays tight, feet on the floor. I'm gonna brace that core and then lift back down. Okay, we've done this one, it's gonna be new. You can get out wider if they need more stability, you can come up tall, whatever helps you get it from hip and only hip, right? Body locked in, and we're gonna lift back down. Two and brace and lift. Down, three, two more, lift, down, four, last one, and lift, hold, back down, very nice. Okay, so from here, we're gonna switch sides, so it's nice and easy. Come on the other side, if you need to kind of sit back into it a little bit, you can. We're just gonna set up in the same position with our other leg out, okay? So hands are down to the floor, get a strong base with those shoulders. So we're gonna line up forearm, inside leg. As I come into the stretch here, again, you don't have to be flat on the floor with that foot, but it helps. If you have inner thigh, that's totally, or inner foot, that's totally okay. So find the best line of tension for you. If you need to come out a little bit, come out. If you need to sit back a little more, that's okay. You just wanna make sure we're in a good position here. Get a good line of stretch all the way through those adductors. Okay, so from here, you should hang out in the stretch, I'm gonna belly breathe. Two sets, fill the rails. Five lift offs, and then we're gonna come back into our sideline hip cars and our capsule cars. Get a little bit more motion back in those with those cars, and then we're done. Okay. So I think the leg is straight up from the side. Body is nice and tight. Take a breath in. Slowly start driving that foot into the floor. Build that contraction up. We're at 40, 60, 80, 100 percent effort for 10. Nine, drive that foot into the floor, put a dent in the ground. Six, five, four, three, two, one, and rails. Try to lift that foot, go right into it here. Max effort, try to lift that foot in the air, feel that outer hip work, and then try to lift that foot, get light on that scale. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and slowly relax. Deeper into that stretch, coming out. Sit back in that stretch a little bit more. Find that tension. Find that best line for you that allows you to get the maximum stretch, but also the maximum contraction. Most out of there with your pills and rails. Okay. One more time. Let's take two more deep breaths. In through the nose, out through the nose. even into it even a little bit more. One more time, one more breath. Okay, next breath in. Brace, pack that air down, start grabbing that foot into the floor. 20%, 40%, 60%, max effort 100% for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, 
one and breath. Let's get light on that scale, throw that outer hip work, and then you try to get foot higher in the air because your end range is not going to happen. Let's try to fight for more. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and relax. Good. You're about to get a little bit more range. You're going to get a little bit deeper in that stretch. A couple breaths there. Okay. We're going to come out of it now a little bit. And we're going to do our passive range lift offs. Okay. So we'll do five reps here. Wider, tempt the arms. That allows things to be a little bit more stable. Hands out a little bit. That's okay. So we're just coming out of that passive range a little bit so we can get some active range of that lift off. Okay. Got five reps. So brace that core. Take a breath in, brace, and lift. That's one, good. Use the upper body tension, spread the floor with the hands. It gives you more tension, more radiation, and lift. Two, and lift. Three, go again. Two more abduction, and lift. Down, last one here. Best one yet, lift. Back there, this way. Very nice. Never done those before. Those are fun, huh? Okay, so hips are done today. So we're just gonna go back into some hip capsule cars, get some light back into those hips before we go back to our regular lifestyle. Okay, so we're here, lay on your side again. So we just work to the right hip, so we'll do that a little bit of a break. Let's go to the left hip, capsule car, or cars and then capsule cars. Okay, two reps here. Think. Top arm in the floor, bottom arm down, bottom leg is down, pull up. Get flexion, abduction, feel those hips now. I just feel like you got some more room in there. Do some grease in those hips. WD-40, move a little bit better. Get come through, reverse, over the top, and through. Let's go one more right there. Get flexion, abduction, just feel nice there. Internal rotation. Extension, drive back and through. One more as we come over the top, over and through. So we're just going to start like we're doing a third rep. We're going to hang out as much abduction as we can, just like we did earlier. Let's go three hip capsule pose. One, external, internal, find your end, fight for more. External, find your end, fight for more. Last one, each way. Internal, get more abduction, open up more to the wall. External rotation. Come back down. Switch sides. Two cars. Three capsule cars. And we're done. Okay, top arm down on the floor. Bottom arm is my pillow. Means about 45 degrees. Tension. Up, open into abduction, internal rotation as I extend, going through, extension, over the top, abduction, one more right there, force engaged, nothing else is moving except this hip, open as much as you can to the wall. Internally rotate, extend, try to touch the heel a little all behind me. As I come through one more time, hand for tension, hip extension, not spine extension. Lift that hip over to the top and through. Okay, so let's go three capsule cars. Just start that third rep, flexion. All right, for more abduction, just get that outer hip, backside work, and everything is lit up there. We have three. Castle cars. Internally rotate. Externally rotate. Internally rotate. Externally rotate. We're going to go to the knee. The femur is the skewer. Through. Internal rotation. Last one. Back four. Back down. Okay, so that was hip abduction and abduction focus today. 
I know if we've never done that before, that would be something that's very new, something that we've probably never felt before. But abduction, abduction is one of our foundational hip movements that we need to have healthy hips. So I hope you enjoyed the class as much as I did today. It's my pleasure teaching you. I hope to see you at my next class, and have a good day.